Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Friday, December 8th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Drive what Bears quarterback Justin Fields drives. And Greater Midwest Exteriors. Do you need home exterior work done? GMEChicago.com. All right, let's get started with the Bears. Completed their game plan install. Their prep for Sunday is done. Noon kick at Soldier Field. Tracy Butler, the fine meteorologist at ABC7, said 35 and clear, which means should be favorable for Justin to not only throw the football, but use his legs as well. Coach Matt Eberflew spoke today, said Equinemia St. Brown remains week to week with a pec injury, suffered blocking in practice, so he's out. Yannick Ngakwe, who's been dealing with a knee injury, expected to play and was back as a full participant today in practice. Bayless Jones missed practice ill and is a game time decision. Cleveland Browns have not named their starting quarterback yet, choosing between Joe Flacco and DTR Dorian Thompson Robinson, who has been in the concussion protocol, but is expected to be available come kickoff on Sunday. Kansas City Chiefs star running back Isaiah Pacheco out versus the Bills with a shoulder injury. The Jags said they will wait until game time Sunday to determine if Trevor Lawrence can play. He suffered a high ankle sprain in their loss on Monday Night Football. Bulls in San Antonio to get the Spurs. And Victor Wembanyama, the stud rookie. Spurs have lost 15 in a row. Bulls are looking for their fourth straight win. Speaking of the Bulls, Zach Levine, sidelined three to four weeks with a foot injury. Had a platelet treatment done on the ailing foot. And he pushed back hard with the media on the narrative that he's not really injured and is being held out because the Bulls want to trade him. Not happy that that's going around out there. We'll see if it's true. Not a lot of baseball news, but we are waiting on Shohei Otani to make his decision. And once he does, should be a logjam that breaks open and a lot of moves happening. There's a lot of smoke connecting Otani to Toronto. There's been uh, sighting of a flight plan for a private jet from California to Toronto. Also, one of the Blue Jays pitchers who went to the same high school as Otani is reportedly got a room booked for 50 or more at one of the top sushi restaurants in Toronto. And many people speculating that's a victory party. So we will find out if it breaks. We'll have an emergency recap Cubs podcast for you, an emergency recap of it as well. Our, our Oasis Restoration question of the day this morning. What move would you make if you could help a team in Chicago sports? Winner, Brian Dale. He said, Cap, you set this question up on a tee with a beach ball. You can't miss it. Obvious answer. The McCaskey selling the Bears to someone who cares about winning and bringing back the tradition of one of the flagship organizations of the NFL. It's a great call. You're going to dinner at Lou Malmati's. Hope you all have a great weekend. Bulls recap tonight. Don't forget Bears recap on Sunday, take that.